Impacted canines. What do we mean by this? Well, if a tooth's impacted, it means that there's something stopping the tooth erupting into its normal position, erupting into the mouth. Impacted canines occurs in about 3% of the population within Europe. Uh, interestingly, it didn't occur at all in our ancestors, nor any of the other 5,400 species of mammals. It seems to be something that's occurring in modern man and possibly becoming more prevalent as time occurs. And the main cause of it seems to be a lack of space. If there's insufficient space for the tooth to come down into the dental arch, then the tooth gets stuck. Now, sometimes, these impacted canines can cause problems to the roots, tooth number one or tooth number two, so the first or second permanent incisor, and that's a risk. If they're not down by the age of 12, or you don't see a nice big bulge on the outside by the age of 12, then you should be wondering what's going on with these canines. Now, when impacted canines um, arrive, or rather when they get stuck, they're normally going to get stuck either on the inside, the palatal side, where the tongue and the palate are, or they get stuck on the outside, called the buccal side. Now, if a canine comes out on the palatal side, you really need to lift the skin in the palate, which is really quite a sore thing to do. It's quite an uncomfortable thing to do. Usually this is done under general anaesthetic, um, some bone is probably removed, then a bracket, just like the brackets that go on the teeth, but usually made out of gold, with a gold chain, is attached to the tooth. It's healed back up with the chain coming out, so the chain can be pulled later to pull the tooth down. If the tooth comes out on the buckle on the outside, it's normally a far easier procedure because it's easy to get to the tooth, and that can often be done under a local anaesthetic. The problem with teeth that arrive on the buccal side is that the tissue, the skin on the buccal side, is a much softer skin. It doesn't have the um, hard keratin producing cells that toughen the skin up. And sometimes the, the, the skin around the gum margin, because it's come from a different source, isn't as tough. So it's better to come out through the palatal skin but it's more painful coming out the palate side. Some people, rather than taking out the buccal side, simply lift the skin, place a chain on the outside, but then try and pull it in and through the tougher skin that sits on that soft surface as well.